Action News Jack's Bridget Matter. She is live walking with John Phillips, well-known uh, attorney in our area, civil rights, well-known for the Jordan Davis case. He's in downtown Jacksonville walking as well. Bridget, uh, let's hear you guys talk about what this means to him. What does this mean for you walking out here today? You have a family that's with you? It means a lot. So we're walking with Greg Hill's family. He was shot and killed in his own garage uh, after police were called for loud music. And, it, and you know, this is Greg Hill Jr. It just, it means so much. You know, we've still got a long way to go, but these steps that we're taking right now mean, mean the world to us. What do you think of the announcements this morning from the mayor? It was great. So as, as a civil rights lawyer, I often cry. Um, but, you know, I usually don't cry before 7 a.m. And it really meant the world that that, that came down uh, and the message it sent. We, again, we've it's we had a long way to go, but it it, it 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 was a good it was a good day. And Mr. Davis was here this yes. morning. Ron Davis, I think, is up front. And what did he say to you? Did you guys have any conversation? Yeah. So so, you know, I'm with the the two 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 black lives that were killed over simply loud music, and you know, Ron's Ron's been doing this every day, and it, and is in the fight and in the struggle and. And he, again, it's it's a marathon, but this is promising. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, that was Action News Jack's Bridget Matter. She is in the middle of that march along with Beth Rousseau. Just finished talking to John Phillips. Most of us know him from the Jordan Davis case in our area, referring to another case that he worked on. I know that uh, Chris Conley is in this march, and uh, we're waiting to get to him.